Hello YouTube, as has become my custom lately, I'm uh, on my way home from the chiropractor. I, uh, I went there again today, this morning, and um, it was more of it was more of the same. He says, now we, we're in the window that the insurance companies will actually cover the MRI, and they, they won't um, they won't cause problems for it. So that's good. He says, based on the symptoms that I'm having, I, uh, the, the numbness in my leg, the, the weakness in my leg, he thinks that it's not only L4, L5, but also S1. Uh, he says there's the possibility that they could be two bulging discs, but uh, the only way we're going to know that is with the MRI, which he's going to work on uh, convincing the... Um, convincing the insurance company that yes now it's, it's you know we've been doing the the non-invasive treatment for the six weeks that they want and um, now it's now it's necessary and he says once we are able to get the MRI once I do get the MRI it'll be he, he fully expects it to um, to show what he's already diagnosed as far as um, as far as just with the x-ray and based on my symptoms. He said that there's the possibility that there could be other things going on in my back that we don't know about that the, the MRI might show us. He says more, you know, like he says possibly S1 and, and different, different areas of the back based on my symptoms. But he said that all of this is uh, the normal and expected progression of um, of exactly what he's diagnosed, and he expects that it's going to be more of more of the same once we get the the MRI. So that's good. Um, I did ask him. He's funny. He's kind of a he's 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 a no bullshit kind of guy. He doesn't. He doesn't sugarcoat things, and he doesn't tell you what you want to hear. He's he's like me. He, he, he swears when he, you know, when it makes his point and that kind of thing. And um, he, I asked him. I said, "Now I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting numbness in in my leg. In addition to that, though, I'm also. It feels like it's weaker. It feels like I should be doing something." And he laughs. He says. He says, holy shit, what do you want me to have you do? Do squats? I'm not having you do squats. You can't even walk. And I, I found that kind of funny. It's, uh, I have been expecting from the beginning that this is going to be okay. He's going to crack me and I'm going to be back to normal. I haven't really been realistic with that, which has been unfortunate because it's led to a lot of stress for me and even more stress for my wife because she has to deal with this person who's expecting to get better a lot quicker than they are and they're aggravated about that and it's not been it's not been fun but I, I am I'm finally seeing noticeable progress like it's I'm finally able to say okay yes I was a week ago I couldn't stand for 10 minutes I couldn't go for a 10 minute walk I couldn't walk across the street to the, the parsonage to see the pastor and, and have a weekly get together for lunch and, and Bible study but, but now I can do that I can walk across the street without as much pain I can stand for a little bit longer I can move around a bit more and it, there is progress I, I need to, to focus on that because I mean it is happening so I, I can't be too frustrated with it. I can't can't be too upset by it. Um, it's it's slowly getting better. It's slowly improving, and that's what I need to focus on. He says there's no danger of it being something that could paralyze me or. Um, he doesn't think it's anything to do with like Corda Aquina or anything like that. He, he thinks it's just my back has been put
put through quite a bit over the course of uh, being in ambulance work for as long as I was for the 12 years that I did ambulance work that's a lot of picking up people in very awkward positions and very awkward manners and it's a lot of carrying heavy people it's a lot of doing that and then when I left that I did heavy construction I did um, you know I did framing I didn't do a lot of finished stuff because I didn't really have the patience for it I, I did work for a finished company for a little while but it wasn't wasn't really anything I wanted to continue to do. It kind of annoyed me. So framing and, and building the tool sheds, that's, I mean, it's not light. It's not light work. And I wear a tool belt. You guys have seen that tool belt that I wear. It's, um, it's not light. It do, I do have the suspenders, but it's not light. So there is that. Um, it's just, it's going to take time and it's probably going to be, okay, I made a couple of chairs today and I got to take a couple of days off now if, if I'm at the point where I can be doing more of this, more of the kind of work that I usually do. Um, so I'm just going to have to take things slow, but it is, it is improving. So that's, that's good. It's good, I guess. So this is just the this is just the way it's gonna be, I guess. But the news is getting better. It's not oh, you know, it's it's not what it was. It's it's better because there is improvement. So I'm I'm happy with that, and we'll see where it goes. It's uh, this is a beautiful area that I'm going. But, of course, now when I can turn the phone around, you won't really see how beautiful it is because it's kind of like I'm going off onto a side street. But look at the big, that's the big cemetery for this area there. And then there's, just coming through here, you can see. It's kind of, I mean, this is, yeah, there's a CVS there, but... The, it's it's a very rural area and it's it's beautiful out here. I, I I tell my family far too often that I love where we live, and uh, I know they do too. But I'm sure they don't want to have to hear about it every time. But it's it, it is it's beautiful out here. But anyway, I'm uh, I've been as I'm sure you guys can see, I'm in a much better mood than I've been with these videos about the, with this you know, the updates on, on my back and how I'm doing. I actually haven't slept very well the past few nights. Uh, last night and the night before, I've been having quite a bit of, um, well, I'll turn around so you can see. I've been having quite a bit of back pain at night because I think I'm doing more during the day. And, um, I had trouble sleeping last night, and I had trouble sleeping the night before that because of that, but, um, it's, I guess that's to be expected. I, the mattress I have is probably seven, eight years old, and it's time to get a new one, which we're going to do with our tax return, I think, because, uh, we really need a new one, and we need a new fridge because I can't do any more work on that fridge. It's pretty much it's cooked now but we'll be we'll be doing some things we'll be making some improvements to our to our life I guess I have found I um, I've been reading quite a bit about the French and Indian War which is actually the North American theater of a greater global conflict known as the Seven Years' War, which in America they don't really teach that. They just, they talk about, oh, the French and Indian War was the war we had before we had the American Revolution. And I'm finding that, at least based on what I'm reading and seeing how the, um, seeing how everything came together, the, uh, 
Oh, I'm going to stop that for a minute because I just have to show a house because I know someone's watching. There you go, buddy. There's your shout out. <laughs> um, the, as I was saying, the French and Indian War was the American theater of the Seven Years' War. And you can look at the conflict that happened then in the 1700s, the 1750s, to the 1760s, and you can see where the seeds of the world wars in the 20th century were laid. So I've been, I haven't been idle laying around. I've been doing quite a bit of reading and quite a bit of research. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Quite a bit of reading and quite a bit of research on forgotten conflicts that we don't usually learn about in America, especially in American school and American public school systems, which, I mean, it's, it's global history. It's something that we probably should have learned, but we didn't. But anyway, I think I've rambled about enough uh, discombobulated topics here. We've gone from my back to the Seven Years' War. So I, th I think this, uh, this video has encompassed enough of my ADD. And it's, it's time for me to end it. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bunch of different topics. But oh, this is pretty too. It's just beautiful. I, I love this area. I love, I love where, we, where I live. But anyway, I guess I've showed you guys enough. And oh, that was a state trooper. That doesn't seem to be a problem though. But anyway, I hope wherever you are that you're comfortable, that God is with you, and that there are no state troopers. No, I'm kidding. I hope God is with you, and I hope everything is well.